Good morning. Wanted to show you the um, George C. Dobson Victor Professional that I picked up uh, a year or so ago, and uh, it had a disintegrated fretboard on it, uh, but otherwise uh, it was in really good shape. The old fretboard was made of pear wood, and you could tell over the years it had just disintegrated and fallen off, giving me the impression that this thing had been stuck maybe in an attic or something for a long, long time, and, uh, and not played. Um, you know, the the guess best based on people that I've talked to is that this was made sometime in the 1890s. Um, I've added a, a new um, ebony fretboard that I installed and decided to go fretless with this um, to see how I like that. And so far I do. Um, I've got an old uh, frosted head on it, but I've... Uh, I just heard John Balsh mailed the um, goatskin head that I ordered today, so I'm looking forward to putting that on, and then I'm going to put a different bridge on it. But uh, it has nylon strings, and um, uh, really fun, you know. I'm guessing this thing hadn't been played in 40, 50, 60 years, based on how it looked when I got it and, and the condition of the... Uh, um, fingerboard. You know, there's some pictures in the archives, you can see it, which just little chips and pieces that had collected in the case for a long time as they fell off the neck. So here's kind of a, a, a look at the headstock. The four tuners, I believe, are original there. The one that I've added for the fifth string isn't, um, but it's a fairly old one. Uh, it didn't have a fifth string tuner when I got it. I tried to leave it as original as I could, you know. I didn't want to modernize it, so I had to sand the neck down a little bit and put a little mahogany stain on it, but um, left some of the little battle scars on it just to maintain its character. But overall, it didn't have many. It was in pretty good shape. with nylon strings um, I'm getting used to them um, when I get John's new head installed on this I'll I'll do another sound sample and show it to you but give you a good look at the fingerboard there and thanks a lot for taking a look at it I appreciate it and uh, more to follow once I get the head on it and 
play around with some bridges and things like that. Thanks.